Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will make an elaborate drawing with ink. I will use this solid bar of Chinese ink again, dissolve it with some water and then with an oriental brush we begin painting. We will draw a young woman with movement and an owl at night. We begin with the shape of the head and face in profile. We barely indicate some features at this stage and then we can do a rapid gesture drawing to capture the expression of the pose with a few lines. She will be jumping like in dancing. The ink mix I made is pretty diluted, so I can do a light sketch with this and make any corrections. Over here, flying, we will have an owl. We paint the overall shape of the body and wings. Then the eyes, beak and the rest of the body, with a little bit more detail. We also can give a light overall shading. And now I pull out my fountain pen to draw in the detail. In this case I am using my Montegrappa Custom Zero with a fine nib and black ink. To make the lines even finer I'm using it backwards. <laughs> I mean with the back of the tip. Then I will flip it around as it should. I go over my original lines, but as I go I may correct the shapes and of course add more detail. However, this under sketch can help a lot when doing this. Now we give the shading and the texture with short lines. The list of materials that I am using is in the description below the video. I will draw the dress darker, but I will leave some lights on it. We have to consider that the whole background is going to be pretty dark. Let's do her cast shadow over here which helps us convey also the idea that she's on a jump and a little bit higher and lighter the shadow of the owl. Now we give a tone to the legs. And now let's experiment adding some water with the brush to the dress. I am not adding ink in this case. This is just plain water which dissolves the ink that is on the paper. And now let's draw some stars. I do this in preparation to adding more ink to the background. Since I will add ink with the brush and since it dilutes the ink that is already on the paper, to protect the star I create this area of blackness beforehand. Then we can add the ink respecting the little star. And I'll go back with the pen to do the fine tuning. For this I switch to my Montegrappa Aviator as it has a broad nib. And also with the pen we can draw the clouds underneath. 
we make a transition from the totally dark of the upper sky to this area of the clouds. And we can create nice, fun patterns like this. I am imagining some wind in some clouds, some windy clouds. <laughs> This is a lot of work, but it is very pleasurable, so enjoyable and relaxing. I could do this all day. For the ground, let's do a pattern like this, with dots and lines. And if you made it all the way to this point, I would love to know it. Please, in the comments, if you can decipher it, write me the secret code. We give it the final touches and it's ready. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe to Fine Art Tips if you haven't done so already, check out my book on the basics of drawing with the link below, and I will see you with more creations on Tuesday.